Another year, another state fair. We are in the village of yesteryear and Drew always comes to the fiddle maker. He's making fiddles. And cellos, that's right. He's got questions. How long does it take to make a violin? 200 hours. Where do you get your wood? North Carolina and Virginia. What kind of wood do you use? Red maple. Red spruce. And a red maple. Yep, and here's the top. I'm not really sure what the lion has to do with it, but. Oh, I think. What I really love is that people are actually here making their stuff. This gentleman here is really folding things, right? Everybody's here doing their craft. This guy does origami. You can even get origami for 25 cents. This is very affordable. This is origami on a stick. Most everything's expensive here, so you can bring your kid and get them an origami. We've got some baskets. And this lady's making some baskets. Miss Ruth Wright, she's from South Carolina. This gentleman's cutting some rocks. He is from Raleigh. And this lady does, er, this gentleman does silhouette art for the little kids there, he's doing it. So cute. It says, squirmy children welcome. I like this Got some woodworking. Now I came to find a broom maker. Last year I bought a broom. And if you watch my videos from last year, you can see me built um, with a broom. And then Drew put the broom on top of the car and tried to drive away this is cool thor like a thor's hammer viking inspired art and furniture that's really neat um oh here's the broom maker so i put the broom on top of the car and then he drove away and my brand new broom that i had bought for my friend was gone it got ran over we watched somebody run it over right behind us look this is exactly what my broom looked like last year yep we got red in do you like the red no she wants purple so we're definitely going to get another broom this year because i kept that broom because that broom got um they actually have a guarantee that they will replace your broom if it ever breaks and indeed he ran over or somebody ran over it and it did break so i got a new one that's right we're here to get another one so this time hopefully we can keep up with it and not not break it so we are here to get another broom and they so graciously replaced it last year but i kept it because it was supposed to be a gift for my friend rosa so shout out to rosa um she didn't get her broom so i will give her one this year um so let's just finish up the video and then we'll come back and get the get the broom what do you see you like babe you like this don't you this is an auction for this throne and shield auction Texas. Oh, you do it now, and then it ends at the Texas Viking Fest. We gotta go to Texas to get it. Here, come over here. And show me anything cool that you saw. What? Show me something cool you saw. You can just. We've got some photos over here. This is a photographer's dream, right? Or is it a framer? Looks like they're. Well, look, they're doing some framework over here. You can get your diploma put up like that. Because our diploma is just sitting in a box. 
You get your fat portrait. Braided rugs. Look at that. Rug. Got some tan photography. And look, he's actually doing it right here. That's why it's so cool about this place. You can see people do it. See them do their work. It's cool for people to see. Yeah, it's neat. It's crazy. And you can see how that's done, you know, back back before we had all our technology. Nobody does it anymore. It's a picture of a cheese grater. And this person is over here doing some art. She makes little jewelry boxes too. I can smell those chemicals he was using. Isn't that amazing? That is really cool. They make like ornaments and stuff. Glass. Who's the craftsman of the year this year? I quit doing it in 2010. No, no, right here, 2013, Keith Hartman, that's him right there. He makes, oh, we saw, we went right by him. He makes the toy stuff. And then Sally Weber, she does art. And this tells about the craftsman. And then you've got these corn shuck dolls. I really like that the people dress the part too. They actually wear old timey clothes. They don't, um, this is the beeswax guy. I've got a lot of beeswax from him over the years. Then I get it home and don't use it because it's so cool. Oh, that's really neat. That corn's very cool. Let's see. Feather art. We got soap dishes and soap. And the soap was made here. All different kinds of soap, fresh soap, makeup brushes, glass. Ooh, that soap actually smells really good, even though I don't really like highly fragrant stuff. And we're back to the origami person. So, look, she's painting that off her phone. Very cool. Free Christmas cello. Oh, to win a free Christmas cello, you must between the well, ages say, of 13 and 17. Uh huh. You have to do an essay. How much, yeah. yeah. How much are these violins? How much is a handmade violin? Got some art, jewelry here. So pretty. This is like some turquoise. I really am into the spiders. So yeah, that is the village of yesteryear. They even got a gun maker. Who makes guns anymore? That's amazing. He's actually like sanding the thing to make a gun. I mean, I guess I knew that because it is wood, but it's just like, wow. It's amazing. We got pewter. We got little pewter toys. Did I get these pewter soldiers? Pewter soldiers. We got a lamp here. Uh, clay maker. Yeah, that's amazing. Very detailed. And this guy makes canes. We need to get some canes for Drew's dad. And some basket weaving. And scrimshaw. Scrimshaw jewelry. Do you guys know what scrimshaw is? Not quite sure. Scrimshaw is the art of hand engraving or dry point, okay? It's like drawing on something. 
All right, I think we're gonna go get our broom. And don't forget to check out our other videos. We'll get some wooden spoons here. That's cool, a spoon rest. Silkworm. Scarf slides are also awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check out our other North Carolina State videos. We've got videos on everything from every year.